it on in here to keep it dry, all right, because it's so wet outside. So, thank you. Next thing, if you would be so kind as to turn your cell phones on silent and please don't text during the show, that would be great. Uh, also, one of my favorite directors from Yale, uh, he always said something before every show, which is, you know what, cellophane is noisy no matter how slowly you unwrap it. So, if you want to put in a piece of gum right now before the show begins, uh, that would be sweet. Um, we will have one 15 minute intermission today. Uh, the show's running time is about an hour and a half, all right? And I think you're gonna have a good time. So, without further ado, the demise of Dorothy Dingle.
that's it. And if you think by manipulating my niece you can waltz in here swipe my money away, then you're sorely mistaken. Your you? money? What do you mean your money, Wallace? My money is not your money. Father gave me Bryce Dahl's finances when he passed away. Now, I'm sorry you were left out at the end, but you have absolutely no say in anything that concerns my money. But Simon, that is not Wallace. Now, have a drink and relax. <laughs> the other should be arriving at any moment. Quite a fascinating evening so far. We found out a lot already, haven't we? Money. It's always an issue in situations like this. The problems of the rich always seem to revolve around the stuff. I suppose we could make the evening a bit more interesting with a bit of backstory. I've always been fascinated by family histories, especially family histories steeped in mystery. Now, the first of these mysteries has to do with young Jessica. That in the east of Uncle Simon was practically raised here in this house. Her parents died suddenly one rainy night. The brakes on their car went out and they went careening off the cliff. Jessica was lucky. She was supposed to be in that car but decided to spend the night up at Uncle Simon's home instead. No one's really sure how it happened. Investigators say the brake lines appeared to be cut. No one was ever brought to justice in that matter. And then, of course, there's Wallace Jameson. Uncle Wallace, as I'm sure you already know, he is Uncle Simon's stepbrother. Their father, a very handsome man, was what some might call a free spirit. Some might also call him an unfaithful adulterer. Whatever the case may be, Wallace's mother caused quite a stir when she burst in one Christmas evening with a, let's call it a living game. She left Wallace with his family and disappeared into the snowy night. She was never seen nor heard from again. Wallace stayed and was raised by his family, but he was never allowed to forget what he was. An embarrassment <coughs> for his father. The final proof of that fact came when his father passed away and left everything beside him. Oh, I believe I hear the rest of the family heading in now. We'll talk more later. Wallace. First, a toast. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. 
commitment to anything. To love, to like, to bear. Here it is. Now, it's no secret that this family has had its fair share of tragedy. There's been adultery, heartbreak, death. Poor Hank. Agnes has so. It's been hard all these years without him. I know that, Agnes. We all miss Hank. But let's not forget that through all this tragedy, there's been a great deal of happiness as well. I was gifted a brother in Wallace, a beautiful niece that's become my daughter. As the years have swiftly moved on, this darkness that tried to crush our spirits has done nothing but bring light into our lives. This is all very beautiful, Simon, but what does this have to do with why we're all here? Well, to be honest, recently I haven't been very okay. Oh, Alistair, well, hold me! It'll be alright, Jessica. Whatever you need from us, little Simon. We will do all that we can. It's just as much, I'm sure. Oh, you got that, right? Can we ask him for money before he dies? <laughs> <ask? laughs> oh, very transparent. You do realize that, do you? I mean, watch the vultures thinking at the bones of them before he can stop it and murder for some people. Your brothers, you know who's always had that for you. I know you'll let your hearts speak at the end. Brothers are always there for each other and I'll always be there for you until your very last breath. Drink to that. Do you really think that this is the time to celebrate? I can't believe any of you. Uncle Simon always takes care of what we need. He always has. And he always will. Won't you, Uncle Simon? Oh, and so the end again is he's losing it, everyone. Oh, I, I can't believe that all you would take this to such a dark place. How else would you take it, Uncle Simon? Uncle Simon, you know how much Jessica and I care for you. How else would we take the news of your death? Not your uncle, but my chance any of our money. Hey, if you want that, I will. Okay, everyone stop.
believe the nerve of that woman? So it will be all right, Alistair. No, it will not, Jessica. With that woman in the picture, your uncle will never give me the money that I need.
I'll take care of this, I promise. You better do that, Simon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Oh, Jessica, I wanted to thank you. For what, Dorothy? You were the only one in that dining room who had any kind words for me at all. Yes, thank you, Jessica. It seems like you're the only sane person in that room tonight. really 
Well, I, uh... Director. What? He's a director now, or he wants to be. So he's neither a writer nor a director. So, I'll ask my question again. What is it exactly that you plan to be doing in the role of Hollywood? <laughs> I... Uh, he uh, is a writer, or he wants to go to Hollywood to become a director. Oh, I understand now. You do? You do? Yes. The answer is no! <laughs> well, I... Can you believe the nerve of that old man? I would love him as a father, obey every single one of his insane rules, and met the sweet young child he always wanted and never could have. And then, and then that woman comes in here, and all of a sudden I'm nothing to him. I... Aren't you going to say anything? How dare he? That's enough! <laughs>
church. How nice of you to join me. Speak! What do you know? Mother would kill me. And I won't, dear boy. That's a good point. A really good point. Mother wanted me to try and seduce Dorothy so that you would catch her kissing me and then you would kick her out of my life so the money that my mother wanted. And she would get it. And I'm so sorry. And it didn't really work. And it backfired. And she tried to kiss me. And I got scared and ran off and cried and cried and cried. That's enough! <laughs> Dorothy!
yourself in the back when you come. <laughs> and lastly, actually lastly this time, who thinks it was me? Because I've just been up here talking far too much. <laughs> Entirely disregarded. As whoever killed Dorothy, 